Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be trying out Peel Off Lip Tint. Now this is the Oops My Lip Tint Pack in Pure Pink by Berry Sound. I did get this from Mimibox.com for $2. Now there are absolutely no English instructions anywhere on this container or on the tube for that matter except for Oops My Lip Tint Pack and Pure Pink. Now on the Mimi Box website it does say gives you that tint kissed look that'll last you through all your coffees, meetings, meals, and even kisses during the day. Lasts up to 12 hours without smearing or fading. After application, all you'll need is a dab of gloss and you're glammed and good to go. Now, instructions for this is on clean lips, apply a generous amount and wait about five to 10 minutes for it to fully dry until it's not tacky anymore and then peel it off. And then you can either, it says you can apply lip balm or lip gloss. So I think we will go ahead and try both, but first we need to apply this. Let me scoot you guys in a little bit closer. Let's open it up. It does have like a little safety thing, a little safety seal. If I can get it off, might as well have been childproof. But this is what it looks like. The applicator is very small, which I think would be very good to get in all the little crevices because they do say not to go outside your lips at all or overline. Well, maybe you can overline, but it does say anywhere that you put the tint, it is going to stain in that spot and when I first got this I did try it on my hand just a little swatch and it was on there for like three days so let me just make sure I don't have any excess lip balm or anything like that on and then we're just gonna go in So it looks like a very like unnatural pink color, which kind of worries me, but let's see. Okay, it wasn't so bad on the bottom lip. The top lip I think I'm going to have a lot of problems with, and this is already really sticky, and I don't even like lip gloss all that much. This is going to drive me nuts. Let's keep going. Okay, so I just got done. Oh, I, oh, I can't. I am not going to be able to talk with this stuff on. I just got done with applying a quite thick layer I don't know if you guys can really tell I'll try to zoom you guys in a little bit more but this stuff just feels so disgusting I hate the feeling of lip gloss I hate the feeling of just the stickiness let me see if I can show you guys just how I mean look at it it does say to try not to touch your lips together, but I just had to. And it's like, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like gathering here in the corners, like really bad. I tried to get as clean of an application as I could, but we'll see. And I'm sorry that the rest of my makeup is not done. I, it is, where's my phone? It is 10 o'clock at night. I didn't feel like doing a whole face of makeup and I showered a little bit earlier, so I took off what I had done, but let's wait five to 10 minutes and see how this dries, shall we? Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm gonna bring you in as close as I can to see if you can see it. But it already started peeling all the way around because my camera did die and I don't have an extra battery for it yet 
so I had to let it charge a little bit. It's still flashing right at me, but we are going to peel this off. <laughs> Ew. That is so gross. Okay. Now, that is pink. And I don't know if you guys can tell. Ew. But there is still some stuck like in the inner rim of my mouth and for fair warning this stuff tastes horrible it tastes like the worst chemical ever i've never tasted this in a beauty product before okay so i just took and like licked the end of a cotton pad just to wipe off all of the extra peel off part of it and it did take a bunch off but as you can see there is still a lot on my lips and it is not budging. I mean, it is not going anywhere. And my lips don't feel super dry or anything. If anything, they feel softer than before I put it on. And I thought that it would have made them like really dry. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it, like gets inside your mouth and dies part of inside of your mouth I don't know I don't know how I feel about that but overall this color is actually pretty wearable I was afraid that it wasn't going to be let's add a lip gloss yes I know I hate lip gloss but I do own one the only reason being it looked super cute and it was Hello Kitty so I had to get it. This is the super cute lip gloss by Colourpop, part of their Hello Kitty collaboration and I'm gonna put this on top of this and see how it looks. Okay, I think that I love this. I hope that you guys can see all of the sparkle because this looks so cute right now. I am loving it. Okay, so my overall thoughts on this lip tint. I don't like that it tastes bad or that you have to wait so long for it to dry or the stickiness of it, but I think that the payoff is totally worth it and I don't think that this stuff would be going anywhere anytime soon. So it definitely gets a thumbs up from me because that is just amazing. I will have this linked down below in the description if you guys would like to purchase it for yourself, which I highly recommend. And I almost am considering on buying the whole kit of all, I think there's six or eight different shades. Let me check really quick. Yes, so on MimiBox.com you can get a kit of six of them and it is $14 marked down from $19. So I think that that might be a future video. Stay tuned for that. I want to thank you guys so, so much for being here and watching. And if you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up so that I know. And let me know any other things that you would like me to try down in the comments below and I would be more than happy to try and get my hands on as many of them as I can and test them out for you guys. Also, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I have all the links for that down below and I will see you guys next week. Bye.